This is a story about the effects of electromagnetic fields from monitors. Yes, it's true. Um, The radiation that comes off the TV, the computer, the tablet, any kind of screen, emits light, it emits radiation, and that is going to have an effect on you. Now, when you do a Google patent search for US 65061484B2, that's US 65061484B2, I'm not going to read the whole patent because it's quite a lengthy document, but I will be putting a PDF in the description and in the full article which you can find on radiofreeuk.org forward slash blogs forward slash Alan. And there you'll find this and all the other stories and images from the patent and also the full patent itself in PDF form. But I wanted to read to you the description and the claims. The description. The invention relates to the stimulation of the human nervous system by an electromagnetic field applied externally to the body. A neurological effect of external electric fields has been mentioned by Weiner in 1958 in a discussion of the bunching of brain waves through non-linear interactions. The electric field was arranged to provide a direct electrical driving of the brain. Weiner describes the field as set up by a 10 Hz alternating voltage of 400 volts applied in a room between ceiling and ground. Brennan, 1992, describes in US patent number 5168380 an apparatus for alleviating disruptions in circadian rhythms of a mammal in which an alternating electric field is applied across the head of the subject by two electrodes placed a short distance from the skin. A device involving a field electrode as well as a contact electrode is the Graham Potentializer mentioned by Hutchinson in 1991. This relaxation device uses motion, light and sound as well as an alternating electric field applied mainly to the head. The contact electrode is a metal bar in ormic contact with the bare feet of the subject and the field electrode is a hemispherical metal headpiece placed several inches from the subject's head. In these three electric stimulation methods the external electric field is applied predominantly to the head so that electric currents are induced in the brain in the physical manner governed by electrodynamics. Such currents can be largely avoided by applying the field not to the head, but rather to skin areas away from the head. Certain cutaneous receptors may then be stimulated, and they would provide a signal input into the brain along the natural pathways of different nerves. It has been found, indeed, psychological effects can be induced in this manner by very weak electric fields. If they're pulsed with a frequency near half a hertz, the observed effects include pertosis of the eyelids, relaxation, drowsiness, the feeling of pressure in a centred spot in the lower edge of the brow, seeing moving patterns of dark purple and greenish yellow with the eyes closed, a tonic smile, a tense feeling in the stomach, sudden loose stool and sexual excitement depending on the precise frequency used and the skin area to which the field is applied. The sharp frequency dependence suggests involvement of a resonance mechanism. So if you want to carry on reading the description for that, you can. Uh, But let's have a look at the claims. Claim 1. A method for manipulating the nervous system of a subject located near a monitor. The monitor emitting an electromagnetic field when displaying an image by virtue of the physical display process. The subject having a sensory resonance frequency. The method comprising creating a video signal for displaying an image on the monitor. The image having an intensity. Modulating the video signal by pulsing the image intensity with a frequency in the range of 0.1 Hz to 15 Hz. And setting the pulse frequency to the resonance frequency. 2. 
a computer program for manipulating the nervous system of a subject located near a monitor. The monitor emitting electromagnetic field when displaying an image by virtue of the physical display process. The subject having cutaneous nerves that fire spontaneously and having spiking patterns, the computer program comprising a display routine for displaying an image on the monitor, the image having an intensity, a pulse routine for pulsing the image intensity with a frequency in the range of 0.1 Hz to 15 Hz and a frequency routine that can be internally controlled by the subject for setting the frequency, whereby the emitted electromagnetic field is pulsed, the cutaneous nerves are exposed to the pulsed electromagnetic field and the spiking patterns of the nerves acquire a frequency modulation. 3. The computer program of claim 2, wherein the pulsing has an amplitude of the program further comprises an amplitude routine for the control of the amplitude by the subject. 4. The computer program of claim 2, wherein the pulse routine comprises a timing procedure for timing the pulsing and an extrapolation procedure for improving the accuracy of the timing procedure. The computer program of Claim 2 further comprising a variability routine for introducing variability in the pulsing. 6. Hardware means for manipulating the nervous system of a subject located near a monitor, the monitor being responsive to a video stream and emitting an electromagnetic field when displaying an image by virtue of the physical display process, the image having an intensity the subject having cutaneous nerves that fire spontaneously and having spiking patterns, the hardware means comprising pulse generator for generating voltage pulses, means responsive to the voltage pulses for modulating the video stream to pulse the image intensity, whereby the emitted electromagnetic field is pulsed, the cutaneous nerves are exposed to the pulsed electromagnetic field, and the spiking patterns of the nerves acquire a frequency modulation. 7. The hardware means of claim 6, wherein the video stream is a composite video signal that has a pseudo DC level, and the means for modulating the video stream comprise means for pulsing the pseudo DC level. The hardware means of claim 6, wherein the video stream is a television broadcast signal, and the means of modulating the video stream comprise means for frequency wobbling of the television broadcast signal. 9. The hardware means of claim 6, wherein the monitor has a brightness adjustment terminal, the means for modulating the video stream comprise a connection from the pulse generator to the brightness adjustment terminal. 10. A source of video stream for manipulating the nervous system of a subject located near a monitor. The monitor emitting an electromagnetic field when displaying an image by virtue of the physical display process, the subject having cutaneous nerves that fire spontaneously and having spiking patterns, the source of video stream comprising, means for defining an image on the monitor, the image having an intensity and means for subliminally pulsing the image intensity with a frequency in the range of 0.1 Hz to 15 Hz whereby the emitted electromagnetic field is pulsed, the cutaneous nerves are exposed to the pulsed electromagnetic field, and the spiking patterns of the nerves acquire a frequency modulation. 11. The source of video stream of claim 10, wherein the source is a recording medium that has recorded data, and the means for subliminally pulsing the image intensity comprise an attribute of the recorded data. The source of video stream and claim 10, wherein the source is a computer program, and the means for subliminally pulsing the image intensity comprise a pulse routine. 13. The source of video stream in claim 10, wherein the source is a recording of a physical scene, and the means of subliminally pulsing the image intensity comprise a pulse generator for generating voltage pulses, light source for illuminating the scene, the light source having a power level, and modulation means responsive to the voltage pulses for pulsing the power level. And 14. The source of video stream of claim 10, wherein the source is a DVD. The video stream comprises a luminance signal and a chrominance signal, and the means for subliminal pulsing of the image intensity 
comprise the means for pulsing the luminance signal. Basically, what's been described there is you watching TV, flickering video streams, varying in intensity and frequency between 0.1 Hz to 15 Hz, as well as other frequencies, all have an effect on you because your subcutaneous nerves are the ones under the skin. So it's not just a case of what goes into your eyes. The fact of the matter is your nerves respond to light that comes in from the skin. So your nerves are obviously connected to your brain and any stimulus that goes into those nerves goes to the brain. So you sit in front of the television with your eyes closed because you've fallen asleep, but you're still being influenced by the frequencies that are coming off the TV screen because your subcutaneous nerves under the skin of your face are responding to those changes, those pulses of luminescence, which affect your mood. You know that feeling that you get when you watch a film or a TV program or play a video game that makes you feel good or it makes you feel aggressive and it makes you feel powerful. You want to get out there and you want to win and you've got to get your way. All those feelings and all those sensations come about because of the flickering, the frequency changes, the luminescence, the chrominescence, the way that you watch, how often you watch, how much time you spend in front of the screen, any screen, from the smallest screen, whether it be a phone or a TV. It's there all the time. And that, my friends, is mind control. And that is why I don't spend that much time in front of the TV set and try and spend as little time as possible in front of the computer screen, which in my job can be quite difficult. But patent number US6506148 outlines a system for manipulating subliminally that's a very important word, subliminally. That means you don't know about it. Manipulating your nervous system using electromagnetic fields. And it's not just electromagnetic fields from monitors and computer screens. Don't forget all those really powerful wireless systems that we have around our homes now. Not just the routers, but it seems to be in every device that we pick up. And they're emitting strong electromagnetic fields which are having an impact on you.